is up, Ram fam? Welcome back to Black Ram GX Gaming. We're here we're live. We're doing more Elden Ring. Uh, we're doing the snow fields today and some side quests. I got a whole list of them I pulled up on IGN, so I hope that's all of them. Um, and we're going to try to figure out as many of them as we can do. What up, Ryan? How are you doing, buddy? Let's get this hype train rolling and this hype party rocking, baby. Hell yeah. Absolutely love that intro. <clears throat> Let me cheers you in just a second. Still a little sick, still a little stuffy, but feeling a lot better, so... I'm going to have some cheers beers today. Cheers. Ah. As always, if it is your first time joining us uh, here, you're watching live or afterwards, doesn't matter, uh, please drop a follow. Turn that little bell icon on if you're on your phone. I don't know if it's on the computer, but it's on your phone. Um, so make sure you get those notifications. Uh, if you've been here before, uh, drop a like like William did just there. Drop a share, cheers, whatever you feel like doing. Um... If you're over there on YouTube, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. YouTube community is growing, and it's amazing. I love it. Um, so sub if you're new, like if you're not. Let's uh, let's get right now. Ryan, yeah, I actually just got done watching Sonic 2 and eating Chinese buffet as we speak. Oh, that's awesome. How was Sonic 2? I mean, <clears throat> I saw that it, like, dominated the box office right out of the gates uh it looked amazing and i love the first one i haven't seen the first one in a long time but when it first came out i probably watched it like three times because jim carrey is ah uh, maybe the elden lord of comedy absolutely love jim carrey um, and he's been kind of, you know, absent for years other than these Sonic movies. Also, can't go wrong with Chemist Buffet. Son of a bitch. I've lost a very small amount of moves in here yesterday and today. Yeah, whatever happens. It's absolutely amazing. You need to take your wife or girlfriend to go watch it. <laughs> Deal. Deal. I've been waiting. Um, I've got to go uh, see that. Uncharted. Um, Doctor Strange sounds like it's super good. And I like that it sounds like there's like a horror aspect to it. I mean, if you watch the games I've played, if you look through my YouTube or back through my Facebook... I don't know how far you can see back in the like a few months, which is pretty much just an elder ring. Um, but if you look back, man, I love horror. And that looks like a straight up horror game. Or movie. Uncanny Whoop! What's happening, buddy? Thank you for the like. Cheers. What up, what up? I was hoping those little guys would chase me out. The beast eye quivers. I was gonna look up what that means. I saw, dude. <laughs> I like that. What's up? I'm just gonna. Tuesday, it's only like five bucks and some change. That's true. Movie theaters are cheap AF. Two bucks. If you can get them like Tuesday, then we're going to pay. Alright, I don't know why that land octopus has been such an issue. I don't, know why, uh, I don't know why, but it looked like you had uh, a long ass hair for some reason. Is it because of the black chair behind me, maybe? Just kind of blends in, looks like it's all one piece. My movements have gotten swifter. Oh, hell yeah, thank you. Um, for the most part, I'd say I've made some improvements. Ooh. I'm getting good at guessing where these invisible walls are, too. Thank you. That feels good to hear, though. 
raises item discovery. I'm quite scared. Ooh, and the shares, my friend Uncanny. Cheers. Appreciate you, brother. So did you beat Village already? Every time I was watching, you were super far. You're progressing hell quick. Oh. The last few times I got on, you were on Ori and Siege, so I was like, I already beat it already? <laughs> so I was curious if you finished and what you thought of the game. You did cheese yourself another dragon? Hell yeah. Which one did you beat today? Think I might have uh, been the chair. Looked like a Motley Crew hairs. I mean, I could, I could rock it. Oh god, do I go this way? Please, see, man. Let's not do this fight. Yeah, be village in hardcore mode. In hardcore, to you, dang, that's impressive. There's a, I mean, it's a long game. Did you, uh... oh, did you get any uh, weapons unlocked? Any uh, unlimited ammo? I got that dragoon, and that was really good. Took 12 hours to do it. The game is amazing. I know. I love. It's just beautiful. I think the story's good. And after taking my time with it and moving slowly, I just can't believe how quickly you can progress through it. What are the location where you take the death roots? One on the bridge. Oh, that one. That one was actually kind of a pain because the bridge kind of puts you in a small one. Hey, you taunted me with the difficulty challenge. I did. I did. I couldn't help it. I wanted to see what would happen if you would do it or not, and you absolutely did it right out of the gates, and then I felt really bad after that first part of the village where you just have to take on the onslaught. I was like, ooh, I'm kind of a dick for this, I guess. <laughs> but hey, it made you a better player, right? Actively motivate me to play it on hardcore mode. Play it with no HUD on and no reticle. Ooh. Is that hard? I didn't even know there was a no reticle. What in the story of Crypt is this? Tales from the Crypt. Oh. Uh, I'm in a secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. I don't know how that song goes. Um, to reach this whole big area. This last chunk of the map. Last thing I have. And, uh, firstly, there's an invisible bridge area underneath, and I don't know. I'm just checking it out. Okay, I need to Google what this Beast Eye Quivers thing is, because I just, it confuses me. It see it come up all the time. Beast Eye notifies you when a nearby boss drops Death Root, uh, which is what you can feed Garak. Oh, that makes sense. Speaking of uh, Death Root guy, hell yeah, it's hard. It makes it so difficult to find items with no um, HUD, no ammo. Makes it scary because ammo is so limited when playing as a uh, freshie. That's true. Um, I definitely want to go back and do it on the hardest difficulty without having all the weapon upgrades and everything. I just want to see what happens. Because a lot of people play those on the hardest difficulty and they're like, Oh, I beat it, it was so easy, haha, <laughs> but they have like, unlimited rocket pistol or whatever. They've got just nutso gear, so... That thing is nasty. 
Those land octopuses are scary. Cheese them with arrows. Finally got my uh, dex to 50 last night. Ooh. Yours is way higher than mine, then. I'm a little even on everything. No upgrades. Uh, it's better for work. Yeah. Um, oh, son of a biscuit being pulled up. That's a hard area. Gotta try to snipe out those little bastards. Because they're the issue. I'm having them. I can take down the land octopuses. I can take on the little guys. But the combination is rough. Now I'm sweating bullets in here right now. Cheers. Got an AC on right below me, but... It does not come through the vent up into my room, into my office here, into my studio. Um, level two, you're able to put five levels into a stat. Ooh. Ryan, have you surpassed me now? You had to. Yeah, but those tentacles. They're wicked. These guys just do so much damage. They're about to get me with a sliver of health each shoot. I'm telling you what. I'm taking out this land octopus. I thought I was about to miss. Then again, I don't really know what the borders are. I'm kind of just running it. Time for a little bow and arrow. Thought you were gonna fail. Me too, to be honest. Oops. Yeah, not such a tough guy now, huh? Ooh, that doesn't hurt. Level 131 now? Damn. Okay, you haven't passed me, but you're getting real close. I remember it was like 120 um, a couple streams ago, and you were at what, one, like 70, 80, or something? You're like, I don't know, I'm thinking about giving up. Now look at you. You're just past me. Might even beat me to Elden Lord. You're in your 90s. I, I, I just remember you sitting at one point, you were in your 70s. I was like, oh, that's not bad. They do incredible damage to me, but I also do bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't realize there was like six of them in there. I couldn't see in the dark. Cheers. I need some kind of protection. I could put on way heavier armor. It would be fine, but, you know. Can't do that as a uh, Ronin. You know, gotta stick to the character. I was in my 70s, now I'm like 131. Yeah, you've doubled since I remember you telling me that you were in your 70s. I don't remember how long ago that was, though. On vacation this week, so I can grind. Ooh. That's nice. I do get all my vacation time back on June 1st, so it's possible. I got two days left, but I've been saving them just in case. You never know when you might need those two days. I gotta use a half day because I gotta 
bachelor party for a good friend I gotta go to in about two weekends. And the place I gotta go to is like an hour and a half, two hours north. I have no idea where it is. If I wait to do it after work, I might be driving in the dark in an area I've never been to trying to find a farmhouse that's got a road. Apparently it's a farmhouse Airbnb they got. I don't know, Jesus Christ. Um, that's got like a mile long driveway in the middle of nowhere. This could also be a uh, beginning to a horror movie. I don't know what situation I'm walking into, but hopefully it's fun. Um, that would be a good idea for some protection. I have had it for half my MP or FP and half my HP for so long that that's what I think it is no matter what. I tried changing it to something more useful. And then I would just use it for health and always forgot what it was actually supposed to be. Terrible. These are the guys you grind off of? I don't blame you. I mean, look at the XP I'm getting. They suck, but what are they worth? 2k each. Serpentine, Serpentine! Honestly, that strategy almost worked for him. That quick super round he did. Sweltering, sweltering day. Oh. When you can mix um, with it where you only take uh, 10 points of damage and unlimited FP usage. I had that. That's the one I switched to. And then, for some reason, I couldn't remember that that's what I was doing and would waste it in the worst situations. Like, the fight would be over. And I'm like, oh. I need to heal both. I'll just heal both quick. Shit! <laughs> now I have unlimited FP against nothing! <laughs> and I take no damage against... Nothing! <laughs> it's kind of the worst. Okay, so this is the clue to the boss. What's the way out here? people came in the stream and suggested to me uh, dual wielding because I tried it and I was like ah, I, I don't think it's that good and then I kept using it and I'm like holy shit this is I decided to use Rivers of Blood. I got a couple levels to go. Three levels today? Honestly. Everything's as good as it is here. Shouldn't be too hard to get. Oh god. 
It's the Spider-Man meme. Damn it, he knows my every move. He even rolls like me. And he kind of dies like me. Death root. Woo woo. Okay. Well, that place was kind of horrible, but not too bad. Snowfields. And we're going to try to... Ronnie, thank you for the leg. Hell yeah, cheers. How you doing? <sighs> Ryan, hell yeah. Thank you for that. Appreciate you. Cheers as well. Honestly, it's so hot. I need every reason to cheers to cool off down here. Cheers. <laughs> Ryan, you cleared out an uprun earlier. Um, kind of disappointed how short it was. It seems like a bigger area than it is, yeah. A really good new game you should play called Eye Ladies. Eye Ladies Nuts on Your Face. I heard that one recently. Um, when I heard it, <laughs> I don't know. It, is I, the it works kind of well, kind of not well. It was, uh,. Do you like eye ladies or e girls more? It's entirely thanks to you that I'm so close to home. These great snow ladies. No matter what they say, you just say, uh, eye ladies nuts on your face. And that's a new one, I like that one. Sound like you just heard that this year. The classics are like dragons. Do you like dragons? Because you'll like it when I'm dragging my nuts across your face. Holy shit! Holy shit! What was that? Do you like Wendy's? Do you like it? Wendy's nuts on your chin. Um, what else? Yoga. Yoga to like. Uh, man. You came to the right place for these kind of jokes. I'm a fan. Get pulled. Oh, shit. Did not see him. Let's get this map at the very least. I'm scared I'm just gonna run right off a cliff here. What the fuck? That one's old. I know. There's a lot of good old ones. The Eye Ladies is the only one I've known. Ligma, I, Ligma I've heard a long time ago too. That's a good one. Asking someone if they have a hamadou, and when they don't know, they ask, what's a hamadou? Say it's for pounding nails, you idiot. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> there was some more tool ones like that. I just can't remember them all. But, man, there's some good ones. Got any more? I've seen a lot of good ones in like uh, TikToks, 
where the guy will go up and use it as like uh, his name for coffee or something or uh, um, where they're given their email oh holy crap this area is a lot bigger than I thought okay oh shit what's all this East Capitol Rampart. Is that Bach guy supposed to get reborn? Maybe he'll be back here. I don't know. The... What is he, like a disfigured werewolf-looking thing? The guy who was the bush originally? I gave him the larval tear. So he was going to come back here. Was it here? I swear it was. That's what this says anyway. Interesting. The Forlorn Hound Evergal is where Blade is. Ah, uh, we'll figure out Bach later. Blade was the big wolf guy. Apparently, he's trapped in the Evergal, and you have the option to either open it or not. There's just a list here on IGN. I'm just trying to go through these before uh, I'm told a lot of these quests will be closed off permanently if you go to the Fire Giant. Hello. Oops. Okay, it says defeating Radahan not only progresses Ronnie, the witch's quest line, but also uh, Blade. It's difficult to find at this point, but if you go past the Forlorn Hound Evergal, you hear a familiar howling sound. When you approach the Evergal, uh, you'll have the option to talk. Blade will tell you that EG has trapped Blade in the Evergal, and you have the option to either open it or not. Maybe I've gone too far to do this? Or maybe I've somehow gone past it. Let's see. What's the next step? You've reached the Noxtella, site of grace. Don't take the stairs, but instead follow the path along the floor. When you reach the building on the south, it is a lift up, take it down. You get invaded by him, but it's not called him. Type blade and Ronnie will thank you, saying farewell, and giving you a discarded palace key. That can be used to open Ronaldo's lock chest in the library. 
if you return to Ronnie's Rise at the end of the Ronnie the Witch Quest line, you'll hear someone talking to you outside saying that part in Ronnie's very being. This is Blade who will attack you as soon as you get close to him. If you defeat him, he'll drop all his stuff. Oh. Well, shit. Apparently, I never did this, but maybe this part isn't necessary. It seems like there's a lot of parts of the quest that aren't super necessary. Cheers, everybody. So let's see. Maybe Blade will attack us here. I'm just going to check up first, but I think it's very likely that he's down. That's him. So let's see him. He's got to be downstairs. Ah, oh, yep, there it is. Okay. I had no idea where he was going to be, just that he was around. Dang Oh, what the fuck? Mr. Wolfman? Dang it! Oh, shit, he's kinda insane. Out, bitch. Those are probably pretty good. Pretty sick, actually. All right, Blade's quest is done. Who else we got here? Don't know what happened to Bach. You guys just looked that up. Giving Bach the Laurel Teal will end in his death. Players will find him in the Grand Library. Oh. Oops. Well, guess he'll be dead, but, uh, whoops. Tried to give him a second chance. Eric Granberg, thank you for the like. I want to post it. All right. Where's my boy? He doesn't look bad. He just looks real fucked up. Okay, well, I guess that's all there is to that quest. <laughs> Alright, we've already done the Bloody Finger Hunter, Yura. Dean Hunter of the Dead. I think that's over. I think I killed him. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Kenneth Height. Who? 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, supposedly, we'll find him in the throne room at Stone Stormvale. Let's find out. Holy crap, high 90 degrees. Supposedly that guy will give you uh, some good stuff. We have to do some quests and some people move into here. Supposedly Kenneth will. And some other guy's name I can't perform. worrying about it. Nefeli Lukes. Oh, she helps you with Godric and then she goes to the round table. She'll give you an arsenal charm, blah, blah, blah. So there's some potion that Selvis gives you. You give it to this Nefeli person, you can summon her. If not, well, the quest goes on. Okay, so... Supposedly she's at the round table, so we're gonna check that out. Oh. I haven't been here in a while, so check out a few things quick.
shenanigans. <laughs> Forty-two short. Heavens forbid! That is not the domain. The burning of the old tree is the throne of death. Goes by two. The forbidden shadow plucked from the golden oak, uh, unleashing the, the fingers would never permit. Mm. But here, here we the are. Fingers dormant, severing our little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. See you, Blade Joe. I'm glad to see my council has borne fruit. But the honor of the deed is yours alone. You've made more of yourself than Ensha has. Now, more importantly, Bold's secret that I suppose you'd like to know then. Me too, my friend. There are four more Nicola, his twin, Maluna Prince Anne. Rani is said to have cast. Blah, blah. I don't know what all these ball bearings do to be honest. Like I get the ball bearing shafts, which gives you very little. But beyond that, it adds what? Maybe an item or two? So supposedly down the stairs is this Nefeli person. <laughs> or maybe she's over this balcony. I don't know. Oh. Well, Roger here is dead. Sometimes you just come back and if you haven't done people's quests, they're just dead and you just get their items. chunks or something? I don't know. Does that happen with uh, Selvius or Selvia, whatever his name is? Salvia? Greetings, new hymns. I feel like I'm really... I can see how I can understand their yearning. Master Hugh said it himself, actually. Once again... I'm pleased. Special ashes. The jar right puppet is pretty funny. Nothing worth working on. Kurtz. Well, nice. I took you, my man, to lay out your own. Door is open now. <sighs> okay. Supposedly down below. Somewhere, maybe, possibly. A chance. Yard, where is she?
All right, I guess we gotta jump over and maybe she's over here. As long as I don't get invaded again. Sense. Ah. So she's not here. Let's see. Maybe he's in the village of which we can find at the village of the Albinars. Just before you reach the set of graves. Well, what do you make of it? I witnessed a sight much the oppression of the weak. No. A waking nightmare made by men. But this, and though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice, justice to the oppressed. Let the scars I carve remind them. I am the Feli Lu. But this time, and though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out ju justice to the oppressed. Let the scars I carve remind them. Uh, for pickle, praise the legs. Sure to reach her, speak to her, and run through all of her dialogues so she'll move back to the round table later on. Put this time and though the justice to let the scars I put this and though the justice to let the scars I. All right, now supposedly she'll be at the round table. Supposedly. I don't know. We're going to see. Downstairs. I imagine not where the invader is. I would imagine down here. Oh, here ah, we are. Ah, you. Please. It's pathetic, I know. Ah, you. Please. It's pathetic, I Okay. <laughs> I don't know who Gideon is that I gave that potion to, but Chapel of Anticipation. Is that this area? Basically, you gotta do the white faced bars quest, so we'll jump to that one. Tells you to head to Stormfield Castle. Once you reach Lernia of the Lakes, you travel back to the first step side of Grey's white faced there. 
by or whatever will have disappeared and a figure of him will be there instead. Um, you'll not be able to find him at the Rose Church in the Lernia Blades. sweaty. This is awful. And we went from like 50 degrees, 40 degrees every single day to 90 degrees. That tree for one. Oh man, I've got the wrong one. I'm heading in the complete opposite. I was like, I feel like this isn't right, and this is taking way too long. Again. Claimed a great room and had your audience with the two what? You don't say. You may go then. May the wisdom of the. Oh, just. Aha! Your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up. You see, the words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe the, air just two fingers when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two <laughs> fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no... That's the part that irks the most. Oh, I have a gift for you. Means for circumventing the draw. Give it a try, and if it please you, I've high hopes for you. We have to do that like two times, right? Be 
sure to try that. There's no reason to tarnish. Okay. Well, I guess we're invading. Uh, hope I don't get smashed instantly. Well, there's three of them. guy was doing with the huge waves of stuff but Jiminy Christmas I got one <laughs> hopes were not high on that uh, invasion with three on one be sure to try there's no reason tarnished So you have to use three of these. All right, let's invade somebody else. Forms. Oh. Dang it. I couldn't tell which one's the host, but I could have beat neither one of them. If it was a fair fight. The big one I had on the run, and then he backed right off the moment I started to win to safety. The other one was coming into me at a two-on-one. Almost had him, and then by the time I turned around, it was a three-on-one. Oh, those runes are hella lost, huh? Okay. That's right. I think I had, like... 16,000 or something. Cheers. I'm messing people up. I'm just not uh, getting fair fights. It's only taking like three good hits.
sure to try. I'm quite. It'd be nice if it was only two guys. Might stand a chance. <laughs> oh, someone just died because I got some runes. Oh. They died from something else as I invaded, so I got a rune arc and... Uh, I saw it, but I don't remember what it was. Some other item. Success! Alright, hold on. I'll be right back. I cannot breathe out of my left nose, and it's hotter than heck. So give me uh, a couple seconds to clear out my nose and all that, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back. Hopefully I can breathe, but no guarantees. Oh, you're gonna piss where I can whip you. Ooh, challenge accepted. My gift. Mm. I knew it, you have a taste for me. <clears throat> I wish to anoint you a prop, a knight to serve Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood. Luminary Moog has strength, vision, so. Hmm, yeah, now. For your final trial. Normally this ritual would involve killing one's own maiden and recant, but since you are maidenless, the blood of... the cloth, the blood of anyone. That one's a tough boss. I know that I can get to him through the snow fields, so I was waiting to do that, but, uh... Okay, so supposedly the four belfries I can go back to the Chapel of Anticipation where we first started the game a little tutorial area not really even a tutorial area not sure which one takes me there I don't think it's this first one I think it's the second one and this is how I get the blood Oh, Jesus, that sounds terrible. He uses blood attacks. He marks you with the curse of death. Hopefully, I'll be using blood attacks by the time I get to him. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Gotta get these butterflies first. Maybe they're across the bridge. 
Never mind. Do what here? We're going back to the chapel of anticipation, the place where you begin blah 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 blah. You use the blah blah blah, you do the thing and you do the stuff. Feel the graphic sign here and you unlock all of the chapel of anticipation. You want to head over the rope bridge to the chapel. She's actually up here in the chapel. Nice. All right, now I just got to remember to run in the right direction this time. Last two times I ran the opposite way. I've watched, um, uh, I'm watching LPs a lot, and those getting, uh, whipped. If you go to get those portals, also summon that, I believe. Um, to get those portals to work, you need the imbued sword of stone keys. There's one there at one of the, the top four, fourth belfry. Uh, one was a Nokron, and I don't remember where I got the last one. So. You've completed your final trial, and with this, you a knight who will assist Luminary Moog. Now, this noble blood will be an immutable. Clench your teeth or something. <laughs> Never forget, for it is what binds you to Luminary Moog, to all of us. <laughs> you have the. Oh, another. A medal granted by the new Moog with the power to grant. I've gone out of it, but you mustn't. The meeting must wait. And luminary mode yet slumber he must endure. Ah, one day you will write my life. <laughs> ah, it is trying, but one day. You have the keys. Life. Not sure where to activate them. Uh, if you take the keys up to the belfries right here, there's just one of those little imp statues right next to it. Just put it in, go through the teleporter, and boom, there you go. The first one is, well, I guess, unless you ask, I won't tell you what they are. It's more fun to just find out, I suppose. Nice, that's done, I suppose. Okay, back to Nelfi. Let's get rid of this. 
So Nelfi we'll talk to her again. I think she wants, which coincidentally we have to go back to the Chapel of Anticipation again, uh, and it's supposedly she wants some Stormhawk ashes. Cheers. Ah, you, please. It's pathetic, I know. Ah, you, please. It's pathetic, I know. Check them out after a bit. The bottom one, the closest, like, they go up in elevation. Um, the bottom one is the one that takes you all the way to this place early. This is one of the most nutso places in the map. Absolute insanity. These drawings... That don't tell the story of what you're going to see there. It is terrifying. Stormhawk King Ashes. Virginia, thank you very much for the like. Cheers. Appreciate you liking yesterday as well. Gail, thank you for the like. Cheers. Ooh, that's right. I have the death root. approach. And Cat has exited the studio. So I'm not sure if I have these yet. This will go back and find out. I see where they're at. And I do not think I've gone there. Did I just gain runes? Okay, those are the butterflies I was thinking of in, um, initially. So to get them, you walk onto that cliff face there, and the cliff face uh, crumbles away and you die. So that is like the fail safe in case you beat this boss here and you don't know what to do. Because you have to die when you first start here, no matter what, if you beat this boss or not. The only advantage is if you beat him, you get 3,000 runes, a sword, and a shield. Uh, which is really nice for starting out fresh. So 
never looked over here. more up here. Hmm. Somehow missed all of that. Okay, well. Let's go talk to her and see if we can give it to her. I don't know, maybe I'm just jumping ahead here. So many quests. Ah, oh, you, please. It's pathetic. Ah, oh, you, please. It's pathetic. I know, but I. That, um. I need to think. That I would have missed had I not looked anything up. So eventually she'll just move on from the round table, is what it says here. Don't know what triggers her moving on, but. Eventually, she'll move on. Okay, so supposedly... We need to find this man, Kenneth. Who was right here. Supposedly, he'll have moved back to his fort down in the weeping area or whatever and he says that he would search for a new leader this will ensure that later on Kenneth Height and Nefeli move to the throne room in Stormdale Castle speak to Nefeli and she'll thank you and you'll get an ancient dragon smithing stone And the gatekeeper guy outside will sell you these uh, ancient dragon smithing stones for 20k. So that's how you're getting like regular weapons uh, over 25. No, oh, still. Bright thing, enter into my circle. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, what say you? Very well, very I knew I saw. I shall await you. We shall hold a ceremony for your night. I see great things ahead of me. Right then, I've much to do. All right, where is going to be in the fort? Anybody know? I don't. Somewhere near the top, he'll show up. Sink coming down. Yeah, it is. All right, Kenneth. I don't feel like a description of this uh, quest is exactly how this is going. Where 
the opponent. He was able to take more than one hit. Probably not because I haven't actually met with them where he's moved to. That first one jumped off right away and died. Hilarious. how to maneuver this place. Jesus Christ. The arrow's also right through my car. I mean, cheese and rice. Like that one night was. I think this was it. And he went to go look for his daughter. How to get to the top? I think I'm gonna have to like tear this place apart. Pile of bodies here. No big deal. And Earth! Where are you hiding? This is not the way. He's at the top and the back. I don't know. 
Saying he's at the top of a castle with multiple towns. It's just a terrible description. Oh, it doesn't say he's at the top, it says at the top is the metal. Doesn't say where he's at. And he might actually just be at the front of the fort outside. Sam, what's happening? Appreciate you. Thank you for that follow. Or the like. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and those shares. Double cheese. Oh, this isn't the fort. Ah, oh, this fort. No wonder I've been making a mistake here. Okay. So go back there. We'll find Kenneth. That's what happens when you uh, haven't been in Limgrave in a month. We can speak more. If you recall, it was for a temple toothless pet. I want glimpsed to matter of my apprentice, teacher, and student. But hear me out, my. I need your help. Perhaps this. Not oh. blended. Nice. Oh, thank you. This pleases me. You must have a fab. I need your help. Master Lusat is another founding glimpse. And like Master Azure, he was banished from the academy. Now, my apprentice, can you find with this glimstone key? You should be able to cross the boundary. I need him to restore the primeval current of Glim. He's nigh a child of the After his expulsion from the academy, I heard that a place called Celia in the eastern Caled wilds. Thinking about it, I obtained the Glimstone key and wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still. After his a place called Celia. Okay. Okay. I think I get it. I think I know exactly what to do with that one. I think that's the Celia hideaway. There's the glintstone barrier there. Alright, we're heading towards one. So we'll come back for that later. Oh, you know what? This is so easy to find now. Necron, and the middle of the day, when you see this. When I first came here, it was night, and you did not see that at all. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay, let's not jump down there. I was gonna use that to jump off the cliff a little bit. Might have been a bad strat. Also, there was the tent, uh, immense fog. So there's the fog, it was night. I did not see any of that flowing, uh, flo floating stuff in the air, floating rocks. But I can see how it'd be very hard to miss uh, if you were walking right in here. And I was also in the forest. But like, depending on where you're coming from, that could be really hard to see or real easy. Honestly, if you're watching all your uh, demi-human friends getting murked like that, do you keep fighting? Ah, you, is it? Uh, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my foot. Oh, indeed, it is a foul, fateful land to be when one must be found for the true and stalwart lord. I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. Bigler now, I must begin my search post haste for a true and stalwart lord. I must begin for a true. Alright. Let's see if. Nefeli. Still there then. So she should be gone. I should get her axes, and then Nefeli and Kenneth should be in Stormvale in the um, throne room. Ah, oh, you, please. It's pathetic, I know, but. Jeez. Ah, oh, please. It's pathetic. Ah, oh, lady. Oh, we got a rest here? What a. What do I gotta do to get this one moving? Ah, you please. Yeah. Okay. I'm supposed to give her the Stormhawk Ashes, King Ashes first, but... Who's you? Okay. So... Maybe I have to talk to Gideon first? I'm supposed to give him a potion from Selvius, which I did get. Sylvius is like dead or gone or something, so. Mm. Ah. You've already heard. It's all I had no further use. Honestly, a determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen hall, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what a dose of ambition turns. There are four more demigods yet to be locked. Nicola, his twin, Luna, Prince Hand, Rani is all here. If you should learn anything, I'll trade you. We bought as such. Okay, now that I've talked to him, I'm gonna rest just in case, and then we'll try talking to her. Maybe I can give her the hawk stuff now, and she'll give me her axes. I don't know. Ah, you, please. It's pathetic, I... So you know already, do you? I... For indulging my emotions. 
forgetting the mission. Father. Mother. Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him. To place him, yet I... I betrayed him. And I... To think he'd order his men to enact such... Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Jeez. Was he simply lying to me? No. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. Is that ash? I can smell the ancient story. Thanks. I'm... I don't feel the presence of still. It reminds me of... Thank you. You're welcome. In this ash. It reminds me... Hmm. Hey man, how's it going tonight? Thanks. Thanks for asking, Sam. Good, good. It's, uh, hotter than hell. Still a little sick, but can breathe right now. But other than that, pretty good. In this ash, it reminds me. Alright, maybe I'll just leave this place and come back. I don't know. I just need her to leave. Breathing is always good. It, you know, it's got its perks. Occasionally overrated. Back. Unusually state. Have a safe. What's going on? Thank you for the like. Long time no see, cheers. Good to see you back. All right, be gone. Dang. In this ash, it reminds me of my. Still here, or will they move to Stormvale if I just go? Stormvale is going to be closer, so we're going to try that first. See if that gets her and Kenneth to just leave, so I can get that uh, dragon smithing stone. If not, I don't know. Go back and talk to Kenneth again. Now I can run. Let's see, okay, so for Nefeli, it just says you give those, she'll eventually move on from the round table, drop two Stormhawk axes. We progress the Kenneth Height quest line to the point where Kenneth has returned to his Fort Limgrave. We successfully search for a new leader, this one sure, uh, later on. I don't know what later on, there's a lot of later ons and eventuallys and IGN doesn't seem to know what triggers things. Just like, well, we played the game once and things just happened. We didn't do any additional research. We just got this out as quickly as we could.
So supposedly gotta talk to Kenneth again that he's chosen a new ruler. Ugh. Why isn't there Grace closer to this fort? That's what I wanna know. Whoever the designer was that didn't put more in these woods, you're a monster. this point, no big deal, but travel time. Can you imagine doing these in, like, Dark Souls? Dark Souls 2? Dark Souls 3? All the old ones where there wasn't fast travel, and you actually had to walk all over the place? Like, I remember as I went back and I was playing some of Dark Souls 1, how, uh, oh, nice. the game pretty much connects. All the doors and things that you open along the way connect you back to where you've been. So you kind of get shortcuts, but still, it's not exactly short going back and forth to do quests and talk to people. I don't think I ever actually really did quests in Dark Souls. Just played through the game, beat it. Hunky dory after that. All right, one free shot. I feel like it so that was fair. I must be a true and stalwart lord of the I must begin my sort of true Getting on some of the This quest line sucks. If I talk to her again and nothing's happened, we'll just have to come back to it later, I guess. Whatever later means, because I'm pretty much at the end of being able to do quests. Pretty close. Ah, I hate you. Only her reminds me. Okay. So let's see. Ooh, death root. Let's take the death root to this guy. Then we'll go see if we can use that glintstone key and rescue Festus or whatever his name is. I don't know, we gotta see what is going on with Hash's quest line. all the death roots. Huh, that's wild. Still haven't found any somber dragon stones to uh, upgrade my special weapons, but gotten a few regular dragon stones now. Dance, chum. Okay. I 
I've been waiting to get through the story in a, for a very long time, so really hoping that this works. And that I don't die right here. Okay. Woo! Shouldn't have done that. Jesus. Well, surprised I've done that. I'm just going around doing stuff. Supposedly, Patches is here in the Shaded Castle. I didn't see him before. We're gonna have to go back and see because that's like the end of this place. I have a faith. The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body lies elsewhere, but the Academy shackle. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the lands between, imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika. Past the plane of the wandering. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I. My body is on the weeping in prison. Can you make the journey? To I have something? killed her body. You could have guessed. You have my gratitude. I am truly pleased. This is a mere token. This brings us up for the bodies of. If only I could undo the. All right. Well, let's set you free. Cheers, everybody. I already thought I did set her free um, in the darker way. I killed her. I uh, didn't mean to. Don't generally kill NPCs, but uh, I tried to get her out of the shackles. Uh, maybe if I hit the shackles just hard enough, that would do the trick. I'm gonna go down and take care of business, but uh, my mimic's gonna stay up here and take care of business. Good. Well, hello. Oh, you're alive now. Thank you for coming. These shackles take a toll on us all. There is something. My prime star has fallen, and my thought someone may come for my life. And so, myself. Back in, in these runes. This is treated what you hold. Treated what you hold. Hmm. What am I supposed to do with it? Uh, 
Oh, I see. So I can either take it back to the projection of her, or there was a secret area over here. I could take it and put it in the puppet that uh, Selvius made. Don't die. I'll try this first, and I don't know why. It's probably more obvious to take it directly to the puppet that she was using. Because oh. it looks, and I remembered that it looked exactly the same. So, seemed worth it. Oh well, cheers. Okay, so I was right that you were supposed to do this puppet. Supposed to talk to Prime Evil Sorcerer Azur, who gives you the common Azur. Supposed to return to Selen and show her Azur's sorcery. Where are you returning to her? Unless I've already done it. This is, a, this is an intense quest. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of things that need to happen that luckily I've already done. Alright, well... Donkeys, because... I didn't see an option, but that's exactly what you were supposed to do. You were supposed to go to that puppet and transplant the primal glintstone. So, did I miss something? I don't think I had.
it was glitched. I think really helped that. Oh, now the app is there. My apprentice. Just how long has it been? Ten minutes. Thank you. You've helped me fill a new and it's truly a gem. Young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glimstone. Better still, I've shed those awful shack finally. I can return to expel the Karian royal family and restore my dear apprentice. Finally, I can return to expel the car. Okay. Show back to Renmain Castle after the Star Scourge Red Hand fight. Speak to Jaren there. The wolf in the castle as he says he's no longer bound to it. Already done that. Um, you can now find him in Witchbane ruins overlooking the body of Sullen. He tells you that she was great as the Graven Witch and obsessed with restoring the primeval current, and that she was the most dangerous mage known to the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. As Sullen mentioned earlier, this is where she'd be returning head over there. Which bane ruins? All right, so we gotta see if Jaren, the guy who like sets up. The Tournament of Champions, or whatever it was, where you take on Redahan, is here. Talk to him. Then, we go back to the Academy. Jesus. Some of these quests are long as shit. To Jaren. I think he's outside somewhere. Library and by the entrance you'll see two summoning stones. Red one will challenge her, sorcerer Selen, and a gold one will assist her. Choosing to assist her, uh, you'll fight with the witch hunter Jaren in the Grand Library. Defeating him rewards you with the Eccentric's hood armor. Um, manchets and breaches. Someone will be in the middle of the library to speak to her and you'll receive the Glintstone Chris. For this option, if you travel back to the sorceress Usat and Azur, you can pick up their clothes. Someone will also transform into a giant sorcerer orb when you return to the Grand Library, but she can still teach you sorcery, including a new spell, the Shard sp uh, Spiral. Choosing to challenge someone, if you challenge uh, someone in the fight, You'll be signing with Jaren. Defeating someone will give you her mask and bell bearing, plus an ancient dragon smithing stone. Uh, with this option, Lucette and Azur will not drop their items. Alright, well, let's help her, I guess. I don't care. I don't have a dog in this fight. And honestly, I think I like his stuff more than hers. I just don't understand how anyone ever figured out any of this crap. Jaren, 
bringer of my death. You have my gratitude for freeing me from my shackles. And I need to I just think I had rather than taking this side and not scout more stuff that I don't have. I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna keep him. Charm unit. Hmm. You get his beard along with his hood? Do you see this? The Queen of Caria is no more. Oh. With the bodies of Masters Azur and Lusat returned, be it so that fallen children of the stars shall Emma, be thank you very much for the light. Cheers. Once again. My apprentice, will you stay with us here at the Academy? Oh, you have your own calling, but do think of me of your future. On the eve of your... You will always be my darling. Rest assured, no. The entire academy, my apprentice. Hmm. But here is. Do you recall what once I that glimstone is the amber of the cosmos and sorcery is the study of the star? When you become Elden Lord, lay bare the secrets of life which cross time. Oh, one last. If you fail to claim your throne, you can always pay me a visit. Oh, don't fret. Even my dullest pupils will always have a. Ouch. Okay, so now if we go back to Lusa and Azur, I get their outfits. Azur is over by the Volcano Manor. It's like, when you go around the outside, he's all the way around. It almost got me. Almost. Not quite. I'm kind of sad the queen's gone because there goes my ability to revive. Evil sorcerer of Azur. Nice that I can jump right to him. So I got two more limb grave side characters to come back in. Well, three. Five, technically. With Nelphi and. Kind of. So you can be 
He is Zur himself. Alright, so let's see what Rapture's was. I'm pretty sure it's over. So I guess he's not done. So let's talk to him again and he gives you a letter. Um, he is trying to tell Brownie about Dee's younger brother. Or maybe Fia. I guess I was supposed to react, interact with him one more time. Let's go back and give that a shot. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, give me one minute. I'm going to go to the bathroom, and I'm going to be right back, okay? All right, we're back, let's do this. I forgot to tell you, but it seems Dia's younger brother. I heard he lies in a deep sleep in the aqueduct besides the eternal city of Nakron. Excuse me. And it's said that he stood before the Prince of Death not far beyond that spot. That's where I do before Fia's quest line, but I've already done it. If you return to Roger after you've seen the blood stain. Bloodstain. You can talk to him and he'll provide you with some lore surrounding Godfrey. He'll also explain that he's been looking for the Black Knight Prince. If you have any Black Knight Print, you can pick up 
uh, from the Black Knight Assassin boss in Black Knight Catacombs. You can give this to him. Apparently, Fia will also talk to you about that if you talk to her in secret, and she will give you a black uh, or a knife print clue, which will lead you to the catacombs. He's not dead then. I don't know if I have to leave and talk to him again. It sounds like it. He was still here. Show me crispers. So we'll leave and we'll come back. I actually haven't been to the Dragon Church in a while. We did gain some new powers. Ice breath or something? I don't know if it's really going to work at this one or if I have to go to the one in Caleb. Let's see if he'll talk to me now. So all it says here is, if you find the blood stain before you talk to Ron. Well, I've already talked to Ron about it again. So maybe his quest is over. This is all it is is like a setup to begin Ronnie's quest line, and you're like working for him and stuff. Oh, he's gone now, straight up. That's it. I guess that's the end of his quest line. All it does is give you more information on uh, Ronnie. Apparently, she's a curse mark on her body. He wants to know the whereabouts of the curse mark. Next step is to head to Caria Manor. Um, in the northwest of Wurnia, you'll need to clear the manor, defeating the Royal Knight Loretta to access the Three Sisters subregion where Ronnie's Rise is located. When you get to Ronnie's Rise, speak to her and she'll say she doesn't remember inviting you. And if you're exhausted of all of Roger's dialogue, the option will come up that says, You must be Ronnie the Witch Behind Knight of Black Knives. Choose this, and Ronnie will tell you that she cast off the curse mark with her old body. Um, you can ask where the body went, but she won't tell you and will tell you to leave. Return to Roger and tell him that Ronnie cast out the curse mark. He'll send you back to Ronnie again until you convince her to let you be a vassal while continuing to inform Roger. She'll see right through your plan, but let you serve her anyway. This will begin Ronnie the Witch's quest line. So that's all there is for him, I guess. Patches will move on from Volcano Manor when the Tanith quest line is complete and Rickard has been killed. You can find him next to the Shaded Castle just before the boss room with the Elmer of the Briar from the Shaded Castle on the gates. Make your way up after taking the lift to the Wind Bridge. You'll see Patches on your way to the boss room. They'll give you the daster, Dancer's Castanets uh, to get to Tanith where you can find and who you can find in Rickard's chamber. He seems to die at this point, but you may well as he doesn't drop his bell bearing. His bite disappears after you rest the base site. As you might expect, this isn't the last you'll see. Okay. 
So I think last I saw he was still in commander. So I was surprised he wasn't at the Shaded Castle because I'm pretty sure I... I think I did that after Volcano Manor. Maybe not, but I thought I did. So he's supposed to be in here somewhere, I believe. Where are you? It's nothing, it's just he's been apart and back on your high horse where you you're able then. He does seem to pass out. Okay. So we'll go to Rickard's chambers. And Tanith, who is the lady who was kinda of like guiding me through the whole volcano manor, was supposed to be here. So we will give her these castanets. She's I must up. continue devouring my beloved lord. Oh, you. Allow me some time. Our lord's carcass is vast and not easily consumed. Dear Rikard, I wish to be your serpent, your family. One day, let us. Dear Rikard, I wish to be one day. This is disgusting. She was just a regular human. Oh, she's down here literally eating on him. What the hell? Dear Rikard, and he's still kind of alive. Find Perch. I wish to one day. That's fucked up. So supposedly Patches is back. Oh. In Merc Water Cave, which is down here. Who is searching up and down this game to find all this stuff? Like, unless there was a guide that was released straight up from the beginning of the game. I don't understand how anybody figured out any of this. The countless hours it would take just searching the whole game up and down, over and over and over again. I mean, there's some clues to some of these, but like, really? Officially ends Patch's quest line. 
So other than Nelfi. So Alexander the Iron Fist we'll find at the very end. Um, Nelfi and Kenneth. Still something has to come out of them. What was the Hunter of the Dead's quest? Because we definitely never did it. Find him in West Limgrave, head to the Summon Water Village outskirts, and you'll find a spot uh, where D is standing over a dead body. He'll warn you about the dangers of Summon Water Village. However, this is where you'll find the Tevia uh, Mayor. That's a crucial, crucial progressing storyline. At the round table, he'll appear at this conversation. You have him, um, and once you've acquired the death root from the Tevia Mariner in Summon Water Village, you can then show it to him. He'll tell you that you should meet with the Beast clergyman, Garank. You'll leave a red mark on the map, which will allow you to teleport to the bestial sanctum in Kaled. Oh, which I have done. Upon reaching this location, you'll find blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's it. Hmm. Okay, so I fully did his too. Uh, so, other than Nelfi and Kenneth and Alexander, we're pretty much done with all the Limgrave side quests. So these are the round table side quests. Uh, Brother Corinne. He's the monk dude with the like pinwheel around his neck. Eventually leave and the next place you'll find him is near the steel where you collect the map fragment from the eldest plateau. After a conversation with him there you can locate a uh, noble gold mask. He can be found on the broken bridge by the road of the iniquity side path. Take it there, however, you will need to go north in the bower of Bounty Site of Grace. Find the Spirit Spring jump from the first part of the broken bridge and use this jump to land on the blah blah blah. Okay, so I've talked to him before. Return to Brother Corinne and tell him where the noble gold mask is. He'll tell you that he'll soon leave to go and find the gold mask himself. So you can find uh, so you can next find him there. Go back to the bridge and speak to Corinne and ask him about the Noble Gold Mask. You'll be able to buy invitations from him there. Okay. So. Brother Corinne is here. Let's go back to him. I always wondered what happened to him. Actually, use that at ten thousand one. A lot of good information. Golden order shine.
This quest is a long one too. And I got really lucky that I could do it. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, my intelligence needs to be 37. Luckily, it's 38. Um, because that quest, or the incantation I looked at, that was like, whoa, that's pretty good. And I need 10,000 for it. And I have 10,001. Um, apparently, that's important. These messages and things put in here kind of ruins the uh, screenshot. Yeah, I can still use it. Okay. You can find Brother Corinne and Gold Mask again when you reach Lindell Royal Capital on the southwest side of the capital by the Coliseum. Exactly where he's gonna be, but I'll try to find him. So we're pretty close to the Coliseum. Pretty weak description of where they're at. Take that branch over there or whatever. Up there somewhere. So there's somewhere around here. Don't know where. Don't know what it means.
Okay, don't know where they're at, but they're somewhere around here. We'll find them. And luckily it sounds like I already found the item I need for this next part. Oh yeah. Whatever is the matter, please, I implore you, continue. Continue your reflections, your rhythms. I must be the one to record them. What matters this issue of Radigan, really? The Erd Tree, heart of the Golden Order, lies before our very eyes. Why must these qualms come to you now? We were on the very cusp. Oh, was that you? Sorry, I'm a little shaken since the Master ceased his movements. I've never seen a make -up. The Master's reflections had heightened as we neared the Erd Tree. While still a precise calculus, the rhythms grew increasingly wild until he simply ceased. Now the master is facing quite the puzzle. The Golden Order is founded on the principle that Marika is the one true god. However, the name of Marika's second husband, King Consort Radigan, also appeared. Who exactly was Radigan? The master is stumped. His finger has remained still ever since Radigan's name was discovered. Curse my mediocre mind. The master only has me. And here I fail him. Who exactly was the master? His finger has remained still. But oh, the Erd Tree, heart of the Golden Order. Why must these qualms come to you on the very. Who exactly the master? His finger has remained. But the earth, why must these? We were on the fi Okay. So I've given the book, prayer book I just gave him a little bit ago, um, when I first saw him by the map. Um, and I learned that spell I learned, incantation. Once you have the incantation and your intelligence is level 37, go to the Earth Tree Sanctuary site of race. There's going to be a statue. Tree sanctuary, take a left heading west from here, follow the path down and into the building. Take a look to the bottom. Look to the bottom. This place is truly amazing. Okay. 
invisible. Progressions alone reveal secrets. Oh, Finkelsteins. This doesn't work because I don't have the incantation. Maybe I have a couple days of doing these side quests. Statue changed. Radigan is Marita. Oh. Well, that helps them be less confused why there's two names. you for your things. Appreciate it. Yes, the master, and after coming all this way. Who exactly was the master? His finger has remained still. But are the Erd tree? Huh? Why must these coil around the fence? to the master. 
Well, not that I'm complaining. Master's finger moves again, resuming his cogitation. More than I haven't the words, so I'd like to pass a glimpse into the heart of the Golden Order. To think, or at least such is all I can. How would such a thing even have been possible? Sadly, I cannot come. Do you have a full oh. Well, either way, I can continue my documentation. But in truth, it matters very little whether I understand the Master's thoughts or not. I am merely his scribe. It is my sole and unwavering purpose. Did we gain some new stuff here? Oh, we did. Okay, so next... Find them in the mountain tops of the giants. Just south of the stargazer ruins on the bridge. Should be on this bridge here. Wish there was quest markers. Oh, I know. Couldn't agree more, Ryan. It's I'm using these guides and at times it's confusing. Like uh the Kenneth and What's her name? Quest. The fact that I've done everything according to IGN that uh, you're supposed to do, and they're just supposed to disappear and they not disappear. I mean, maybe if I just go to Stormvale. I think I'll try again tomorrow on theirs. I'll go to Stormvale, Round Table, the Fort. I've definitely been here before. Don't know why I decided on this unpicked up. A nine! That's what I needed! I've been gripped by a terrifying thought. Wish there was a journal or something to keep tabs, or at least uh, give an array where the quest may be. That would be really nice. Because there's hours. Like a lot of hours between quests. Like if I wasn't at the end going back and doing these. It would take so long. Possibility. I mean, you'd hope to eventually run into them again. Doubts about the master. Tell me, have I simply lost my head? Only, why would he think to breach? Oh, master, dispel these. I want to place my trust in you. Something else. So apparently if I still have the tonic of forgetfulness, I can try to offer to him, but he won't take it. Which I thought I still had, but I didn't see that dialogue option. Um, so that's all there is until endgame. Which I've figured out way too much about, unfortunately. Alright, Diablos. This is the guy with the silver armor, kind of the red lining, who was talking about his servant in the beginning.
Next place you'll see Diallo's is a jar bug south of the Carrion Study Hall. You'll find one of the little shats talking to a jar. It says that he scorches his own path after leaving the volcano. Uh, Alright, Carrion Study? That's right here, isn't it? I remember now. I was about to look it up, but... It's strange that almost all weapons got a buff. I didn't see anything about straight swords, rapiers, staffs, and mixed spears getting a buff. Just magic two-handed weapons. Well, I guess... That's what uh, matters the most, right? All the specialty weapons, that's what everyone uses the most. Standard weapons, not so much. Not that they're not good. I mean, everything can be good, depending on how you use it. But the specialty weapons are what's popular. Well, I just walk on. Let's see if I can't uh, beef my way up. To get him to use this uh, sword already. I'm trying to leave one of each at least. I don't know how many I need here, so I'm gonna calm down for a second. Corpse from the blade of cursed blood for repeated interweaving successful attacks. Follow up with an additional input for further uh, successful attacks. Um, weapon of Okina, swordsman of the land of reeds, a cursed weapon that has felled countless men. When Moog, the lord of blood, first felt Okina's sword and madness upon his flesh, he had a proposal to offer Okina the life of a demon whose thirst would never go unsated. That's what that is. I've been hit by that before. Okay, what was I doing next? Uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Jarbug. Cheers.
And also, Katana does poison they, um, they say that's really good. I imagine it is. Susan, thank you very much for the like. Appreciate you. Let me cheers you in just a second here. I just gotta collect all these flowers for my garden. Cheers. Where is this man? This might be over because I may have hunted him down. I see I've got his equip that's a end, uh, end game PC. Just trying to see if I have his mask, which I'm going through this way too fast. Pretty sure I fought him. <laughs> Jar. Hmm, I actually don't see it. Okay. So confused here. Looks like this is the only shack I could go into. And the image just looks like the right one. Maybe he's still at the Volcano Manor, maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe? Maybe I killed him already. So supposedly, you find him in that shack I was just in, on the ground, talking to tiny jars. And... He will try to protect them from poachers, and he dies in the end. Taker's cameo. Nice. Oh, you can still win this guy's skills even though he's dead. Very calm. Supposedly, um, Sorcerer Selenir turns into like an orb. 
Can you level over 124,000 runes to get uh, five levels? I don't level up. Um, so I'm able to get five levels. Oh, you wait until then. Oh, sweets, the queen is still here. Art thou now? Oh shit, she is an orc. Oh, my eyes. Oh, gross. What happened to her? Oh, now he's dead. Well, this is a wild game. Who am I looking for? I'm looking for Dialos. D I A L O S. So Jar Bjarn is a thing or a person you're supposed to talk to. IGN is not bad, but man, overly fast paced, um, kind of almost lazy sometimes, quest guides. I have zero clue who that is. Um, you find him in... The Volcano Manor and the Round Table. And the Round Table, he's talking about his servant that he's looking for. Apparently the first major patch didn't even show you where the NPCs were. Uh, the side characters is forgettable very much so couldn't agree more to be honest um, so apparently there's a guy called Jar Bane Jar Barn who's a tiny jar you can find Jar Barn at Jar Bug and Lurnia of the Lakes the easiest way to get used to fast travel blah, 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 blah. right up the slope in the north then cross over to the cliff to the east Got this out of you can skirt around the Siberian Marner Boss. And I need a screenshot explanation help you pinpoint the location.
supposedly. Hoping I didn't kill him. Oh. I need to find this jar barn guy. I need to just YouTube it quick just to see, physically see where does this guy actually act. Okay, I thought that's where I've been. So, he's not there for me. I wonder if I maybe killed him on accident? A part of me wouldn't be surprised if I did, not thinking that he was an NPC. Can't I, like, absolve myself and bring him back? I really don't feel a connection with any character. Some that I like, but there's not really a connection. Too bad there's not a romance in these games. Would that ruin software games? Maybe. Maybe that'd be too hardcore. Or take away from the hardcore aspect of it. But yeah, there's not much of a connection to the characters. They're just kind of... Some are just kind of cool, and that's about it. Jar Bane's not Matrix of that, right? So apparently, if you kill some of the jars there, which clearly I must have. Um, Jarbane says you crushed my heart or something like that and I will leave but apparently if you go to the Church of Vows you should be able to bring him back but I'm not able to do it so mine might be glitched Okay, well, I'm thinking that that one's KO'd. So apparently if you finish Alexander's questline, come back, this jar barn guy, they'll give you the companion jar talisman as a reward, which raises the potency of throwing pots. So that's the only thing I missed through the jar barn debacle. 
uh, Dialos. I'm missing is his mask, a Newman rune, and a second Haslo pedal whip. Which I wasn't going to use any of those things anyway, so I guess whatever. The Dung Eater, we need two more of his things that I guess are in the Halic Tree. Thea, we did her quest. Let's see about Arena and Edgar. Actually, we could probably just go back to where they were. He said he was gonna go find her, right? No, I don't see them anymore. Don't know if this has already happened. Guess we'll see. Banished Knight's Halberd. If I have the Banished Knight's Halberd, I've already done this. So wherever her body was, wherever she was, she's like somewhere along here, right? Just past the bridge of sacrifice. Better off just uh, is that killing the dung eater? You might be right. We'll find out. Greener. I'm gonna finish it though. My daughter deserves better. Before I, I chose duty over and. I'll hunt them down and rest assured. I'll hunt a foul. I'll hunt and rest assured. Okay. Now I need to find the Revenger's Shack. And then he'll come and fight us. For some reason, thinking I did it. But where is it? I had seen it earlier. And that is all the weeping peninsula side quests. Then we gotta do all the learning of the lakes ones. That'll be tomorrow. Oh. You know, I came here once before and I was quite curious why there was nothing here. Okay, Rivers of Blood is insane. Absolutely insane. Alright, so there's gonna be roughly seven quests here um, in Learning of the Lakes. 
Kayla's got two, which I might already be done with. Volcano Manor's got one. And Jarbug is one. Which I can't do. So only a couple more side quests tomorrow. Which is great news. Um, and then we'll do the snow fields. And then move on with the game. I forgot that I could do that. Can't be increased any further, so I might be done with how much I can increase my quests. It's quick as well. You'll need that weapon for the Millennia fight since she's weak to bleed. Um, and Frost, I believe. Ooh. Ah, who isn't weak to bleed, you know? This thing is insane. Alright. 94 hours, 155 levels in. How many achievements? 25 out of 42. Jesse, thank you very much for the like. Cheers. So talismans, ashen remains, armaments, and an armament to its highest stage. And then we got a series of secret achievements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's not bad. Almost halfway, but uh, might be able to do them all before the end here. We'll see. To, uh, look up what some of them are. I'll probably get to the end, and then I'll see what ones I've done and what ones I haven't. Maybe, maybe, if I'm feeling ambitious. Oh, God, I need to get that off. It was uh, melting to my ears in this heat. Um, maybe see if uh, we can go back and do some of them quick. Then you have 14 flasks. That's correct. I maxed out my flasks a while ago. What I just maxed out, I think I maxed out, was how much the flasks do per drink. So, um, it was a stupendous night. Good night. We cleared up a ton of side quests. Um, and we got a few more to do here, but shouldn't take long tomorrow. So we'll work on those, and we'll go down to the snowfields. Uh, so the question tonight is, what is the main chemical ingredient? And poison ivy. Is it uh, Erlo, Erobilinogen? Erobilinogen. God. I should pick these questions based on being able to read the answers. I haven't been able to read the answers in a while. Urimil. Urushio. Urushio. I don't know. Or uric acid. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. Anyway, so we'll come back to the answer here in just a little bit after we do some shout-outs. Um, thank you, William. Dash for the like and share. And Kenny Love for the like. On Kenny Love for the uh, share as well. Roni for the like. Ryan for the like. And hanging out with me all night. Thank you for chatting. Your girlfriend play games too? She plays some Animal Crossing and some other stuff. I'm trying to get her on stream. Maybe, uh... Might be like October. There's a horror game. I'm trying to remember what it's called. That I got a hard maybe on. Maybe she'll play it with me and we'll do it over a weekend or something because it probably wouldn't take more than like five, six hours. They never do. Um, what was it called? I can never remember. The Quarry. When the sun goes down on the last night of summer camp, nine teenage counselors are plunged into an unpredictable night of horror. The only thing worse than the blood-drenched locals and creatures hunting them are the unimaginable choices you'll make to help them. So it's kind of like those dark picture anthology games where uh, you are making the choices of the characters in the horror movie and they could all survive if you do all the right choices they could all die if you fuck up really bad or some of them will die and some of them will live as what has usually happened with me and my good buddy Bo Gets Him Daily who I played through the Dark Pictures Anthology with um, 
So we'll see. We'll see. Is she camera shy? Maybe a little. Maybe a little. But I'm working at it. We'll, we'll get around here one day. Um, thank you, Virginia, for the likes. Kayla for the likes. Sam for the like and share. Giovanni for the like. Um, Kimlin for the like. Susan for the like. And Jess, thank you for the like there at the end. Appreciate you. Um, so what is the main chemical ingredient in poison ivy? Is it Earl Billy Nogen? Is it Uri Mill? If there's anyone who actually knows this, they're going to be looking at me like, man, this guy does not know what he's saying. Or uric acid. Um, the answer is the third blank. Um, Urushio, feel free to chat that in YouTube or here on Facebook um, if you got it correct. Congratulations. Um, I got it on the third guess, which is basically just wrong. So, congratulations to you if you guessed right. Not a clue. I, 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 I hadn't even heard about any of those things, so I had no clue. Uh, that was an interesting one. So, anyway, it was a good night. Uh, it was a hot night. Hopefully tomorrow was a little cooler. I'm cranking AC, hoping it infects the whole um, place here, but <sighs> not been lucky so far. So, be back on tomorrow sweating if I have to um, completing all these side quests and moving on to the snow fields we're so close to doing almost everything in the game and I think some of those achievements I'm gonna be missing in the end are from side quests that I failed so maybe I can do a new game plus and rush through and get them all maybe maybe I'll get to the end and I'll say I can't play this anymore because I've been playing it for uh, it's almost 30 days straight. Let's see, when did I start playing it? I have it marked here. 3.21. So, let's see here. It'll be two full months next week, Friday. Basically. So it'll be a couple days until the 21st of Saturday. So, I don't know, we'll see. There's a lot to do. It's 82 there. Dude, it was 90. It's 80 right now. It was 90 earlier. Just blistering. Um, I hate it. I hate it because it's pure mugginess, too. It's just like uh, you step outside and you just feel the stickiness and the thickness of the air. Can't do it. Don't like it. Not for me. I live where it's cold um, five to six months of the year for a reason. So <laughs> hopefully this heat doesn't stick around. Yuck, yuck is right. It's nice to have some heat and to be able to go outside and do things, but this is gross. And like, it was 50 degrees to 40 degrees two days ago for like the last couple months. Um, so like the water's not even warm enough to swim in. It's still frigid, despite the fact that all the heat's going. <laughs> Better have those fans blown. Oh, I got fans everywhere. I got fans blowing up the stairs where the AC unit is trying to shift it all around I don't know I was told when I moved in that it was supposed to circulate throughout the whole place it does not it does not whatever that's fine same there yeah I don't blame you I needed to eat actually I did the funniest thing I think I've ever seen I saw a video of this um, a while back and it randomly struck my head last night and I have a standing fan and I just could not sleep because of the heat. So <laughs> what I did is I took the fan, I put it at the edge of the bed and put my blanket over the fan <laughs> so it would blow directly into me. That actually helped. That helped quite a bit. It's about the stupidest looking thing and it's like a life hack that just works really well. Um, I don't know how I thought of it randomly in the late night, you know, about an hour from now, but it worked thought of it it worked it's it's a godsend so try it try it if you uh, are feeling rascally actually the best thing to do is not to drape the blanket all the way behind the fan but if you could somehow like clip it to the top of the fan so it gets fresh air blowing through ooh, it does wonders anyway uh that's it for tonight just <laughs> just sleep in the nude that could help too that could help too then you're just going to stick to the bed and there'll be an imprint of your sweaty body in this kind of heat. Then you got to get peeled off of it. Gross, you don't want that to happen. Um, to better your clothes, one of the two, when it's this hot, 
wish the AC unit that they provided here was in the bedroom so I could sleep. I'm like, I might just sleep down in the living room. There's a good chance. I've got my recliner down there, put the blanket on, lay back. In this kind of weather with AC, I'd fall asleep down there easy. But, um, but yeah, we'll be back on tomorrow. We'll be doing more Elden Ring. And it's going to be a great time. Don't miss it. 6 to 9 Central Standard Time. If you haven't followed, please do. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay fresh, cheese bags.